The Unity Asset Store is a fantastic place where publishers with all sorts of skills publish their creations and their content, which can help you create your own games and projects. So in this video, we're going to take a look at five great assets for designing realistic environments. We're also going to leave links to each and every asset we mention in the description box of this video so that you can easily find what we're looking at. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check them out. The first asset we're going to check out is called Vegetation Studio. Vegetation Studio is made by Awesome Technologies and it's a vegetation placement and rendering system. The vegetation gets spawned on the terrain based on a flexible set of rules and controlled with both texture and polygon masks. Vegetation Studio also uses the GPU instancing system for more efficient rendering in Unity, which improves the overall performance of your game. And moving on to the second asset, we're going to look at Landscape Auto Material. Landscape Auto Material is made by Renown Studio and it's a comprehensive terrain and foliage creation toolset. It allows automatic texturing of landscapes based on height and slopes and offers automated foliage painting, which helps save you a lot of time texturing your terrain. On top of this asset being an actual editor tool, we can also find high quality forest assets with advanced foliage, including subsurface scattering, dynamic wind, and so much more which you can learn about on the asset store page. We can also find a multi-foliage brush tool which allows us to paint with configured groups of objects. And now, moving forward, we have our third asset called Easy Roads 3D Pro. Easy Roads 3D is a tool for building road infrastructures and for parametric modeling in Unity made by Andasoft. We can use Easy Roads to create unique road networks directly in Unity with both built in customizable dynamic crossing prefabs and crossing prefabs based on your own imported models. Easy Roads also supports adding additional side objects. Examples include bridges, guardrails, fences, walls, power lines, tree lines, or any other type of geometry following a path alongside your roads. And moving on to number four, let's check out Suburb Neighborhood House Pack. Suburb Neighborhood is made by Finward Studios and it's a pack of 3D models to assist you in creating highly detailed residential houses and streets from modular pieces. We can populate our scenes with a huge amount of props to create a complete suburban neighborhood. This package also includes a modular road system with sidewalks, modular houses with exteriors and interiors, and many other props ranging from trees and other vegetation to cars, lamps, and electric poles. Everything is well optimized and additionally, this asset also supports HDRP or the High Definition Render Pipeline in Unity. So now moving on to the last asset, at number 5 we have AS Water Shader. AS Water Shader is made by Alzheimer Studio and it's a flow and normal map based shader that enables us to turn surfaces into highly realistic and dynamic water. It comes with a flow map generator that renders a flow map texture based on the surface's dimensions. This generator automatically creates the appropriate channels in the flow map texture for the shader to use so that you don't have to manually do it yourself. This pack also supports rim textures, which creates an edge where objects meet the surface of the water. For example, foam at the water's edge. And those are our five great assets for designing realistic environments in Unity. If you have your own favorites, make sure to leave a comment on this video stating which ones you love and use the most so that we can share some suggestions back and forth in the community. Also, Unity ourselves have begun to create and release some first party assets in our new series, Asset Store Originals. The first, which you should check out, is the Asia Pacific Common Residential Pack. It contains a large range of assets, including modular exteriors and interiors of Asian buildings, props, and vehicles, along with an already assembled sample scene. All the assets we mentioned in this video, including the Asia Pacific one we were just talking about, are going to be linked in the description, so make sure to check them out. And with that being said, we hope you enjoyed watching and found these assets helpful. We look forward to seeing your comments on this video and to see you in the next video as well. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one.